Welcome back guys and today we're doing full body yoga practice and I'm so excited guys I have my friend Yule with me today we're gonna be doing it together we're gonna have so much fun if you're new to my channel guys don't make make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my daily workouts and let's begin it's gonna be challenging but I will guide you through all the modifications so let's guys begin at the back of our mat and we're gonna reach all the way up Big breaths and all the way, exhalation, forward fold, drop the head, relax your neck and then for the first one, you can literally bend your knees if you have to and just round the back. Let's go ahead and loop forward, halfway through and bend those knees a little bit and place your belly right on top on your thighs and look halfway through again, extend those legs and full forward fold, Uttanasana. Let's look up, halfway, sweep those arms up and over the head and reach all the way up to the chair pose. Big breath, guys, big sweep. We're gonna go for the first little tiny back bend. It doesn't have to be super deep. We just begin in all the way, forward fold, exhalation. Let's go ahead, guys, and walk to our plank. We're gonna start our active warm up. So walk to your plank and look up and over all the way drop the hips a little bit halfway through or more and back to the downward facing dog we're gonna do a few of those reach up all the way up dog or supported up dog and all the way back exhalation downward facing dog look forward knees on the floor or above the ground with me be mindful if you do your knees off the floor back to the downward facing dog and one more time Look up all the way and rock those heels, guys, all the way to the left, all the way. Open it up. Good job. Good work, guys. Take it all the way back, all the way. Push down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Use your knees on the floor. Big breaths and all the way. Exhalation. Rock back to your plank and up dog. After that, look all the way through. And heels to the other side. Let's open it up all the way and breathe good job take it back all the way through chaturanga dandasana push down nice look up halfway then we're facing dog oh i feel like i'm warming up let's take our right leg up all the way and take all the way and step forward guys step all the way forward reach all the way up express through the heart open up those arms and take it back to the plank guys back to the plank push down chaturanga dandasana come on up and all the way exhalation downward facing dog let's take the left leg up all the way and step forward to your lunge reach all the way through big breath express through the chest all the way and again step back to your plank Chaturanga Dandasana or no push up if you're not ready, reach all the way up and back to the downward facing dog. We're gonna reach our right hand over the left ankle, guys. Look all the way underneath, take your time. Good work and take it back. And we're gonna take our left over the right. Very good. Drop the head, relax your neck. And back, guys, to the plank pose. We're gonna wake up really seriously, so we're gonna draw the knees towards the elbows. Are you ready? <laughs> I am, me too. Let's go do it and right to the left. Go one, two guys, three, four, five, six, six, and seven, and eight. We have only eight left. Seven, don't quit, six, five, four, three, Two, good job, my friend. Push down, come on down. All the way, Chaturanga Dandasana, look up. We're gonna rest, guys, in the downward facing dog. All the way, good quality downward facing dog. Relax the head, drop it. We're gonna take our right hand again towards the left. All the way, drop the head, relax your head. Good press, and draw your left hand over the right ankle or shin or the thigh, guys, whatever you can reach. We're still in our active warm-up, so we're going to go back to the plank right now. From the plank, guys, from the plank, we're going to rock the heels on the, on the left and side plank with me all the way through. 
Good job. Reach all the way up and over with the arm above the head. All the way, reach up and over. Good. Very nice. Slowly return back to your plank. And rock your heels on the other side. On the right this time. Reach up and over. Give yourself a good smile. Everything is easier with a smile. All the way, arm above the head. Stay strong. Wrist elbow, shoulder, one on top, another. Take it back. We're getting ready for the chaturanga, guys. Set your knees on the floor if you have to. Come on up. Reach in all the way back. Downward facing dog. Let's rest up here. Team, if you need to rest in your child pose, go ahead and rest and then join us back to downward facing dog. We're standing here for six to 10 breaths. Both hands, guys, shoulders width apart. Shoulders width apart and your feet, sit bones or hips width apart. Continue to breathe, bend your knees if you have to. We're gonna look forward, take your right leg up. Right leg up, look underneath the right all the way. And step forward. We're gonna go for the first warrior one. Reach all the way. Big breath, sink down, both legs working equally. And all the way warrior two. All the way warrior two. Gist over the front hand, then top the back leg, guys. And flip it over to the reverse one. Good boy, don't hurry up. Take it back to the front, warrior two. And then warrior one again. Stay with me and stay strong. Now, get ready. Good work, just take your time and pivot your, careful, careful, and pivot your back foot to your lunge. Now from the warrior, we back to the lunge. Good work, you lay very good. This is a challenging one, guys. And all the way, take the hands back on the floor, step back to your plank, chaturanga, dandasana, use your knees on the floor if you have to reach up. And back to the downward face, and dog all the way. Relax and restore. We can do the same thing from the other side. Let's reach the left leg up and step all the way forward to your warrior one, guys. Make sure in your warrior one, you have really both feet wide, taking a lot of space on your mat. Reach up all the way and take those arms to the warrior two. Left to pass, left good work. Take it all the way in reverse, tap the back leg. Carefully, put your back heel you lay on the floor. That's why you felt that you can see it. the foot is on the floor. You stand it in your lunge and we have to be that. That's it. That would be extremely hard to do the reverse warrior in the lunge. And guys, come back all the way to the warrior two, warrior one. And now, pivot your heel. Now we're gonna go to the lunge. Dive down, breathe. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose. Take your hands back on the floor. Chaturanga, guys, of your choice. You can use your knees on the ground any time you need. Take it all the way back, downward facing dog. We did a good strong warm up, so let's go ahead and take the knees on the floor, right up here, and bring the chest up. Little cat and cow pose flow. All right, just a couple more times. Mm -hmm. And one more. We're gonna go and hang in into the bind. Ankle to the hand to the ankle. So let's take our right arm up and forward and take your left leg and go ahead and connect. Now, if it is not there, it's totally fine. You can undo it, rest. You can have just one arm in the time, one leg in the time. Release it when you have to. It's a challenging balancing asana. But if you're here with me, we're gonna lift that foot a little bit higher. Make sure you're breathing. Are you breathing, Yulia? Oh, me, me too. Guys, make sure that you're breathing and using your belly breathing. Without breath, the balance is gonna be super hard. Let's release just the hand. Keep your leg up, guys. Push down, chaturanga all the way with one leg. Hold it with me for a few breaths. Stay strong. One, two, three, four. Knee, chin, chest, or belly all the way. Exhalation, one more push up, push it down, extend the leg, push, great work, one, two, three, four, come on back up, knee, chin, chest, or belly. Can we handle two more? Yes, come on up, reach. My friend saying yes, that means we can, come on down, all the way, and knee, chin, chest, or belly. Oh, one more time, reach all the way, and hold, one, two, three, four, knee, chin, chest, or belly. 
Good job. Let's set the knee back on the floor and open it up. Now we have to do it from the other side. After a few cat and cow flows. Good work. And up and back down. All right, let's get ready. We're gonna take right now our right arm and left leg. Right arm and left leg. All the way, reach all, all the way. Bring, reach. I think you did the other one last time. No, you didn't. Yeah, so we'll just switch it. All right, because I'm mirroring you guys, let's go ahead and take the ankle back. Reach all the way. If that is not there, that is totally fine, guys. You don't have to do it perfectly. Just do what you can, rest in the tabletop, and then come back with us. Also, stay hydrated and don't forget to smile. That's all about feel good. Fitness is not gonna give you much good if you don't like it. Keep on breathing, guys. Keep on lifting, lifting that leg. Let's release just the hand. We have four good strong push-ups. Let's go. And hold one, two, three, four. Knee to into your belly, come on up. You can do it. Push it. Three more left, come on. And push down, guys. One, two, three, come on back. And knee to into your belly. Couple more times. And push down. One, two, and three. Last one. We have one more left. One more left, guys. And up. All the way, push down. Good work. And three, two, one. Take it back. Round that spine. Relax your neck. Take the knees back on the floor. Let's reach up to the cow pose. And back to the cat pose. Reach up. Let's take a hat. Let's go ahead and take the right leg up all the way. Step all the way forward. We're gonna come in the modified Ustrasana or the camel pose. Sometimes we call it modified lunge pose. But the main thing, guys, make sure you do not collapse the knees, right? We're gonna reach up and tuck the toes on your left foot behind. See if you can reach all the way towards the back heel. All the way, hips forward, chest up. Good quality breath. Try to use every single cell in your body to do it. And then slowly bring your left hand on the floor. Mm -hmm. And bring that knee up. See if that goes good and go for the rotation. Below there. All the way. Big reach. Don't shake, guys. Breathe. And we're going to take it back on the floor. Step back, where, where do you think we're going to? The plank, of course. Push down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Come on up. And back to the downward facing dog. Feels so good. We're going to look forward, bend the knees, step back on the knees. And this time we're gonna bring our left leg up front. No, I'm gonna do the others, our right leg up front. Because we did different, you did your right one. And guys, it's important that you don't collapse your knees, right? Reach all the way up. Duck your toes at the back foot and let's go ahead and reach. If you can't reach, don't stress about it. All you have to do is to put your hand on top of your back. Reach up and over. Keep on breathing. In through the nose and out through the nose. Bring your hands back. We're going to take the hand and put right up front and bring that knee up to the reverse position, guys. If you need to keep your knee on the floor, this is absolutely fine. Keep on breathing. Good job, take it back to your plank. Use your modifications, use the plank on the knee if you have to. Push down, coming up. And back to the downward facing dog. Today we're gonna practice sing dolphin pose and dolphin plank. So get excited, so right from here, we will take our forearms, guys, on the floor. If you need a significant modification, you can take your hands and clasp them and bend your knees a little bit. If you don't need a modification, then you're gonna keep your forearms parallel to each other and press your heels maybe halfway through. Down, keep holding your dolphin pose. In through the nose, out through the nose. We're going to continue to practice here as a flow. Send your knees on the floor, gently. Open it up in a cow pose, feels a little bit different. And we're going back to the dolphin now. Oh yeah, very good. 
extend and express back to the tabletop on the forearms. And open it up. One more time. All the way to the dolphin. And all the way to the tabletop. Building so much strength in those arms, guys. One more time. Last one, I promise. All the way. Take it back on the floor. Now, we're going to try to balance here. Take your one arm in the center and take your another arm all the way up and lengthen in. All the way up and lengthen in. Very good. Few breaths. Three, two, one. Take it back and switch. All the way. Reach forward. Very nice. Take it back all the way on the floor and take your, take your right arm, guys, underneath the left all the way. And just rest. Thread the needle. Feels so good right now. All right, let's go ahead and switch. And we do the other side. Thread the needle. Make sure that your shoulder is feeling good, guys. Feeling comfortable. Very nice. And let's slowly take it back. All the way off the ground, tuck your toes, go back to your downward facing dog. We're gonna go to our dolphin plank as I promised. Let's walk to the regular plank first. And from the regular plank, guys, we're going to bring the elbows on the floor. If you can't hold this or you can hold it for long, you're gonna put your knees on the floor. This is totally fun. You're doing great. You don't even need your knees. All right, guys, we're gonna do a few kicks. You kicks in a dolphin plank. Let's go do it. Just as many as you can. Eight, seven, six. Keep on working, guys. Five, four, three, two. My abs on fire. One. Knees on the floor. Let's rest in the child pose. You guys all did awesome. Then place your forehead on the floor and just relax and restore. Very good. Just give it a couple more breaths. And let's slowly move back to the dolphin plank. First to the plank, and then to the dolphin plank. And from there, we're gonna go to the side dolphin plank. So let's go ahead and drag the heels on the left side and bring your hand in the center. And you can face me. It's gonna be easier for you to follow. So elbow and shoulder, guys, stopped. Otherwise, it's gonna be really uncomfortable. You can always put the hip on the floor. That's all picked up. Feels good. Working the obliques, guys, and transverse all the muscles running in between. Also, you work in your arm, bicep and tricep. Different teeth. Let's pop over, hold the way. Feels so good. I know I can have my dinner soon. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and switch, guys. Switch the arms, go ahead and reach up. Lengthen it, keep your belly strong, keep your abs strong, and go ahead and reach over. Big breaths. Mm -hmm. Don't hang the arm, please. Keep it nice, long and strong. Take it back to the front and slowly release the belly. We're gonna go for the bow pose. Few variations of the bow pose. And that will conclude the really strong part of our practice. And I will take you guys on the back. Let's go ahead and kick the feet back. Now, if you need to use your strap instead your hands because you can't reach, could happen, then you're gonna use your strap. If you can reach, but you can't lift your knees off the ground, you still keep trying. You keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying until you can hand legs. Go do it. We're gonna hold it just for the few more breaths and then we will release it. Keep on breathing, guys. Inner thigh stop. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't quit. Don't even think to quit. Three, two, one. And arms up front. Legs back, just rest. Good work, everyone. We have another one going, and it's gonna be optional. So you can just open the same way like you did, or guys, you come and follow me. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our one hand and grab our other opposite ankle, and that can be it. Or you guys can go ahead and reach that arm up and lift the other foot off the floor. Half bow with extended arms and legs. Also, I'm giving you a little challenge. Sneak that foot, that extended leg, inside. It just has been there and now it's there. You don't have to get there, but we just give 
a little bit fun challenge to ourselves today. Let's release and relax. We're gonna do it from other side in a second. All right, let's come back. We have one more from other side and then I will take you to the downward facing dog to repose it. So in other arm, take your opposite arm and catch the opposite ankle. That's it, very nice. So if that's already it, lift the knee, stay there, or that's right, we lift in the arm and leg, or we bring in the ankle behind. That's it, that's wonderful. Good job, guys. Could you do it? I'm waiting for comments. If you could do it, let me know. I'm really, really, really curious. And go ahead, hold, 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 hold. Take it back all the way, relax. Good work, everybody. That was a challenging variation of the bow pose. Let's take our hands all the way on the side of the body, somewhere between chest line and the waistline. Reach up and let's repose it to the downward facing dog all the way through. Take your time, spend a few nurturing inhalations and exhalations right there. Mm -hmm. And then slowly bring your knees on the floor, put your feet on one side and just sit your hips and go ahead and just rest your forehead on the floor. It's a good stretch for the side of the body. We did such an intense work. And let's slowly shift the feet on the other side. And the body away. All the way, forehead on the ground. Just a breath or two. And come on back up with me. We're going to sit on the floor. Pull your glutes all the way out. And from here, guys, we will begin with a seated forward fold, but with a little leg split. What it's gonna do for us, is gonna ease a little bit on the back. So if you want to use your straps to reach, because you can't reach, use the straps, or come with me. And we're gonna go and fall forward. Very nice. Doesn't have to be low. It doesn't have to be all the way through. Just go by sensations, use the good principle of the folding forward when you fold in forward through hip flexor and let's gently fold. Mm -hmm. And with the nose, let's with the toes. Come on up and reach your one arm all the way through. And draw it to the opposite ankle and open up. Give it a good soft rotation. And let's reach up with the both hands again. And we go to the other side. Take your other hand to the opposite ankle. And up. Soft extension, guys, through the back. Healing for the spine. Then we're gonna take it back forward to the forward foot. See if you can go a little bit deeper, just a tiny little bit. If not, again, don't stress about it. The less you stress, the better your practice will go. And just a breath or two. We're gonna go for the wide-legged reverse tabletop from here to make sure that we give the body an optimal strength and flexibility. Go ahead and reach the hips up all the way. That feels so good. Relax your head, guys, and drop the head. Relax your neck. Continue to engage your glutes. Stay with me. From here, we're gonna flow to the boat, modified boat, guys, or full one. So you can bend your knees, you can have one Foot on the floor, you can come and extend with me and take the arms, that's great. Good work. And back to that reverse tabletop with the wide legs, guys, wide legs. Reach up and open. Relax the neck, give it a breath or two. We go back to the boat. We have two after this, two like this one. That's it's modified boat, bend your knees if you have to, have your feet on the floor or one foot on the floor. Back to the tabletop, let's do it. All the way. Up and open. Chest open, hips open, glutes connected, relax your neck. And we have only one after this left. Boat pose, guys. Back to the boat pose. Your boat pose, but if I one, one foot on the floor, whichever you can do, keep the abdominal wall strong. One more tabletop, last one. Let's do it. All the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And back, all the way through, reach up. Last boat, guys, here. 
I'm so glad we did it. Now I know you have a good core strength and I can let you go all the way reach. Feet on the floor, arms up, forward, forward. Nice, gentle forward, forward. Very good. We're going to take our one foot behind to the half hero. And another is going to stay right there. Then the leg, which is extended, the same side arm is going to go all the way behind. And we're going to open it up all the way. Reach hard, up, extend the arm. And then after that extension, see if you can set your both hands on the floor, greeting the earth in the half hero pose. We normally do it with the both legs extended, but today we keep the one leg in the half hero pose. Please, guys, it's challenging, but I know you can do it. At least something, come on back up. And we're gonna switch the sides. We're gonna take the other leg in the half hero pose and take the free arm, which leg is extended, all the way back and open up. That's it. That's a good hero pose right there. A hero pose. Please, guys, please, a little bit more opening and send the breath exactly where it should be. And then let's try, just give it a try to put both hands on, on the floor like you greet in the earth. Keep your, keep your shoulders aligned with the back side of your mat if you can, but if not, you can do what you can. Come on back up all the way. We're going to take our both feet up front of our chest and let's reach all the way up. Deep breaths and just fold forward, just fold forward, just let your body rest for the few seconds, few breaths, if you can put your forehead on the floor, it's wonderful, if not, maybe you can use the block underneath, and just walk yourself on one side, take any direction, and fold again, And then walk yourself on the other side and just take the direction, hold. And come all the way back to the center. Let's reach arms all the way up, guys. Reach all the way. Take everything you want to take inside your heart, inside your body. Bring your both hands up front of the heart. Close your eyes. Let's look inside and find a lot of gratitude, love and passion about life. Smile with your heart and flow through the rest of your day with unshakable love, peace, insight. Namaste. Guys, thank you for joining us today. That was so fun. We did it. And don't forget to comment and like and let me know if you could do it. And I will see you guys tomorrow.